does not follow 2015-16 regular model. Earlier it used to be only follows, from there onwards he has started giving, does not follow. Does not follow means among the given conclusions, conclusions are nothing but the choices. Among the choices, four conclusions definitely follows and only one conclusion does not follow. Now we shall identify the conclusion which does not follow from the above statements. Then first one, question number 16, no smile is boardroom. Now this is smile and this is boardroom. No smile is boardroom. Next one, all, no smile is boredom. And all boredoms are amusements. All boredoms are what? Amusements. No amusement is an entertainment. No amusement is an entertainment. This is entertainment. And all laughters are entertainments. All these laughters are entertainment. Now this is a basic diagram. Now with the help of this basic diagram, tell me which conclusion does not follow. All smiles are amusement is a possibility or not, tell me. All smiles are amusement. All smiles are amusement means this smile should not be intersected with boredom. Now tell me whether I can draw my smile like this or not. Now by doing so, what happens here? All smiles are amusement is possible or not possible? Possible. As it is possible, hence it is true. It can be true. Hence it does not follow, will be wrong. Clear now? And the first conclusion cannot be your answer because the first conclusion can be true from the given statements. Now, does not follow means it should not be true at least once. It must be, fa it must be false forever. Now, coming to the second one, all amusements can never be smiles. All these amusements can never be smiles. Now, in order to prove this one false, now we should prove whether all amusements can be smiles or not. Now, tell me whether I can draw my smiles like this. All amusements are smiles. If you draw like this, then your smile should be like this. Now tell me whether I can draw my smile like this? No. If you draw a smile like this, then what happens here? No smile is a boredom will be false and statement invalid. Hence it is not at all possible. And what is his claim? He is also saying that it is not possible. Then what is the answer here? It follows from the given statement. Hence does not follow will be wrong. Clear now? As it follows and does not follow will be wrong. Then coming to the third conclusion. What is the third conclusion here? Now in the third conclusion, no boredom is a laughter. No boredom is a laughter. Boredom is here. No boredom is a laughter. Boredom is here and laughter is here. Now, as of now, what happened to this one? No boredom is a laughter. Is true or false? It is true. As it is true, at least once, does not follow will be wrong. No need to check out the second case or going for alternate diagram. Here, our main intention is to make it as true at least once. If it is true once, it cannot be false forever. Follow out or not? Can you so consider true out or not? Let us know. Now, first one can be true once, hence does not follow will be wrong. Second one can be true once, hence does not follow will be wrong. That means the third one is true as of now because boredom is here. And what is the next one? Laughter is here. As it is true once, does not follow will be wrong. Then coming to the fourth one, all laughters are boredom is a possibility. All laughters are boredom means the entire laughter must be here. Now tell me whether it is possible or not. If you draw laughter like this, then all laughters are what? All laughters are entertainment. But whereas no entertainment, no entertainment is what? No entertainment is an amusement will be false. Statement invalid, it cannot be true at least once. As it cannot be true at least once, it will be false forever. Then what is your answer? Choice four is the answer. Done with this? Now we should always try to Check out whether it can be true at least once or not. Now this is about question number 16. Then 17th one. Now question number 17. Some papers are bored. Some of the papers are bored, paper and board. Next one, all boards are cards. All these boards are what? Caught. And no card is holding. No card is holding. And next one, all leaflets are holdings. All these leaflets are what? Holdings. Now these are the four statements. Now, with the help of this one, tell me what happened to the first conclusion. Now, the first conclusion, no hoarding is both true or false. No hoarding is both true or false. As of now, it is true once. As it is true once, does not follow, will be wrong. No need to check out once again. And coming to the second one, all leaflets or papers is possible or not. All leaflets or papers means now, tell me whether I can draw my leaflet like this or not. Now, this leaflet then, what happened to the next one here? Hoarding. Now, hoarding will be like this. And so the statements are valid, it is possible. As it is possible, does not follow, will be wrong. 
it is true at least once. The second conclusion can be true. As it is true once, does not follow, will be wrong. Then coming to the third one, no chord is a leaflet. No chord is leaflet, chord is here, and leaflet is here. As of now, no chord is leaflet, true or false? It is true. As it is true once, does not follow, will be wrong. Hence, whenever there is a negative conclusion, in most of the cases, it will be true. Hence, it does not follow, we are not supposed to check out the tone once again. Next one, fourth one. All papers are holdings is a possibility. All papers are holding is a possibility means now your diagram of papers and holding must be, all these papers must be holding. Now as all these papers are holding, now tell me whether I can draw my holding like this or not. If you draw holding like this, and whatever this one, all leaflets are holding, that will be fine. Then holding, if you take this one, no holding is an amuse, no holding is what? No chord is a holding, will be false because some of the chords are holdings. Hence, it cannot be true at least once. As it is not possible at least once, it will be definitely follow false forever. Does not follow forever, definitely false. Done with this? Now this is about question number 17, choice 4. Then coming to 18th one. Now question number 18. No palace is a castle. Palace and castle. Next one. All halls are palaces. All halls are palaces, no palace is a casual. And some theatres are halls, some of the theatres are what? Some theatres are halls, and all rooms are theatres. And all rooms are what? All rooms are theatres. All rooms are theatres. Then first one, some casuals are ha halls. Now tell me whether some casuals can be, some casuals are halls, true or false? As of now it is false. As of now, it is false, but where is it? we should confirm that whether it is false forever or not. If it is false in all the cases, then only it will be does not follow. Isn't it? Hence, in the case of affirmative, in the does not follow, always take it as a posi possibility. Whether the possibility is given or not, take this one as a possibility. Because we are checking out what? Whether it can be true at least once or not. In order to make that one true at least once, we should check out it is a possibility. Clear now? As of now it is false, it's okay. Will that be false forever? To check that one, now we should check out whether it can be true at least once or not. In order to check the, whether this is true at least once or not, my statement should be some casuals or halls is a possibility or not. Some casuals or halls means all is here and casual. Now tell me whether I can draw my statement like this. If you start, if you draw a statement like this, then what happens here? No palace is a casual will be false. Statement invalid. Statement invalid means it cannot be drawn. That means it cannot be true at least once. As it cannot be true at least once, this will be false forever. Hence, choice one is the answer. Hence, whenever there is a definite affirmative conclusion given, consider the definite affirmative conclusion as a possibility, then check out. If it cannot be possible at least once, that will be definitely false forever. Then, question number 18, choice one. Then coming to question number 19. Now in this 19th one, all hues are colors. All these hues are what? All hues are colors. And all colors are paints. All these colors are paints. No paint is a tint. No paint is a tint. No intersection between these two. All tints are images. All these tints are what? Images. Now this is the basic diagram. First one, all tints are hues is a possible. Now tell me all tints are, all tints are hues. In order to make that one true, now my diagram of tint should be like this. If I draw a diagram like this, then what happens here? No paint is a tint will be false. Statement invalid. It cannot be true at least once. Hence, it cannot be possible at all. Then what is the answer here? That will be definitely false forever. That means does not follow forever. Hence, so only one is the answer. Question number 19, choice one. Then coming to question number 20. Some sandals are boots. Some of the sandals or boots can be written like this, sandal and boot. Some sandals or boots, all boots are heels. All these boots are what? All boots are heels. And some boots are ankles. Some boots are what? Some boots are ankles. Isn't it? Some boots are ankles. Then what is the next one? And all ankles are toes. All these ankles are what? All ankles are toes. All the statements are affirmative statements. Now the first one, some toes are boots. Now tell me some toes or boots true or false. Some toes or boots, toes is here, boot is here, it is true once, hence does not follow, will be wrong. Next one, no toe is heel. 
no toe is still if you observe here now this is intersection of between toe and heel and so what happened to this one some toes are heels is true some toes are heels are is true no toe is a heel will be false and it will be false forever then what is the answer here does not follow 